Okay, so I'm going to check out my second feeder here because for the first time on another hive here, there's a lot of bee mortality on the feeder. Now, that's the weak hive and problems like that are always popping up on the weak hive. Strange things are happening that don't seem to happen on any of the other hives. And maybe that's why it's weak. But this feeder issue is really a new one. Never had a problem with it before. Never had so much as one bee die. And I just showed up to a good handful of bees, maybe 50 dead bees in the other feeder. In this feeder, we've got a very different situation. In this feeder, they've eaten everything out of it. Take a look. So, no dead bees and no sugar water, right? So, don't know why that is, right? Again, the weak hive over here, giving all, all sorts of grief with everything. They can't even take food properly. This hive over here, doing really well, but not making any honey. This hive over here, doing gangbusters, doing it all. That's why I see two honey supers on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna still feed both hives here. I'm gonna give them both two to one sugar water. It's now September 17th, so it has to be two to one to give them enough time to uh, be able to evaporate it and convert it into honey and be able to cap it off. Now I was gonna give both feeders one entire jar here of two to one, but instead I'm gonna give this one an entire jar and this one maybe half a jar because if it's just killing the bees and they're not using it, then I don't wanna waste it. That's my logic. Thick like syrup, this stuff. So that will only last this hive a few days, less than a week. But this hive didn't consume their entire portion in a week. So I'll just pour half of this jar in there and hopefully it'll be all right. Hopefully they will use this. Okay, a little more. Okay, that's it, no more. All right, so that's it. And again, don't know why I had the feeder mortality in the other hive, but I'm gonna try it again and hope that they take it and they start getting ready for winter because this hive over here that I'm working on right now is in very good shape for winter. The hive beside it that had just had the feeder issue has been queenless and the new queen is laying brood, but not in great patterns and they had issues feeding as well. So it's gonna to be tough for this hive here, hive number two, to survive the winter. But we're gonna do our best here at 40 Honeybee to try and get our bees to make it this winter. Last year I had two hives and neither of them made it. And this is just a beautiful area. Have a look here. It's Sunday afternoon. There's not much wind. It's 28 degrees. So like almost 90 Fahrenheit and it's just a bee mecca. They're down in a little valley here, so they're protected from wind. There's no wind out today anyway. And you can see the kind of bloom we've got going. It's not just goldenrod, it's everything. The only thing that might be happening now is that all summer long we've had a ton of rain, like rain almost every other day. And this is the first time in September that we've had maybe one rain shower in two weeks. So that could mean nectar, nectar flow is down a little bit, but We'll see, that's why we're feeding them. So that really shouldn't be a factor. Tons of pollen out there and tons of flowers for nectar. So thanks for joining me. Uh, I'll keep you informed as to how these guys do. Bye.